as you can all tell, I've purchased another unusual product from the internet in my endless pursuit of aesthetic perfection and infinite gains. Now, if you've ever seen those videos on YouTube where guys get a rock, put it in the palm of their hand and crush it with their bare finger strength, then you'll know what this is for. Now those videos don't actually exist, but you can use your imagination to understand that this is for strengthening my grip. That's right, my hand grip. If you've ever shaken a man's hand and he said, wow, you have a great handshake, son. You're gonna do big things in this world. And you'll know the euphoria you get from having a great handshake and some superb finger strength. Conveniently enough though, the actual instruction manual comes with a 30 day challenge for me, the completionist I am, right? It says always start slowly. A few minutes a day every other day. Hold your hands open for 5 to 30 seconds each time. Close, repeat. That's actually pretty challenging, I'm not gonna lie. It's putting a lot of strain on my fingers right now. I can't deny that. Week 1, perform one set. Week 2, perform two sets. Do as many reps as it takes to feel fatigued. Progress more and more each day or as instructed by your medical advisor. Now, since I'm not a little boy, we're gonna make our own workout for the next 30 days. Here's the summary for those of you with a low attention span. I'll be stretching these little mother for 30 minutes each day day for the next 30 days every single day no rest days none of this nonsense I'll be squeezing till my heart's content squeezing till my fingers are sore squeezing till my forearms are sore squeezing till my brain's sore extending these little fingers until the end of time do you catch my drift the goal is for me to be able to squeeze a rock into ashes that's my goal I'm throwing it out there into the universe we're just gonna throw that manifestation dart at that theoretical bullseye and see what happens okay I'm gonna repair this thing real quick and then I'm gonna extend or rather squeeze squeeze is that it? I'm not really squeezing. And then I'm gonna extend away for the next 30 days. You get the gist? You're not stupid? Let's go. Fuck you, Karen. I'm just being over dramatic. This thing doesn't hurt that much, but uh, definitely starting to feel the strain a little bit. All right, so I just finished my first squeeze session, extension session, I don't know, whatever the hell you wanna call it. I just extended my hands for 30 minutes. 15 on this hand, 15 on this hand, and yeah, there's something empowering about this. 29 more days to go. All right, it's day number two of me stretching these little fingers for 30 minutes a day. Unexpectedly though, this workout's pretty killer on my wrists, on my forearms a little bit, on my hands in general. With that being said, tomorrow I'm gonna go out into the field. I'm gonna try to shake some hands, and I really want to get an indication of where my handshake is on the spectrum of handshakes. Is it a dead fish? Is it okay? Schmech? Is it too stiff? Is it too strong of a handshake? For now though, I'll be getting some carpal tunnel syndrome. Wish me luck. How's it going, man? Yeah, pretty good. So I've been doing this hand strengthener test. I'm trying to ask people how well they think my handshake is. So could you shake my hand and give me a very honest assessment of how well I shake hands? Wait, one through 10? One through 10, sure. Okay. Particular emphasis on finger strength and whatnot. Uh, okay. All right, let's give it a go. What What are your thoughts? Um, I'd say a good solid six. Six? Okay, what do I need to improve on? Uh, thumb. Okay, hold on. Thumb up. Okay. Press down. Like that. And that's more firm? Yeah. Okay, that's better. See, that, that's like, now I'm just like, it, it's almost like a, like, it's more dominant. Okay. It, 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 and it gives someone's, more strength, yeah? Well, it gives, it's more like, okay, if I shake someone's hand like that, then it's more... I see. Okay. Like, appreciate it. Yeah. That's well, cool. I'm Stephen, by the way. All right, Stephen, Thanks, appreciate man. it, man. Thank you for giving me that honest assessment. Oh, no problem. Valuable survey data. Appreciate it, man. Have a good one. Thanks again. All right. What are your thoughts on the handshake? One eight. Th eight? Pretty firm handshake? You yes. Think? So what can I work on? Finger strength? What What's going on here? Any faults with my handshake? No, nothing. Pretty solid? Solid. Appreciate that. Thanks, you guys. All right, cheers. Okay. You got a good feel for my handshake? One through 10. How would you rate it? Eight and a half. Okay, what do I need to improve on? Okay, 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 okay. gotcha, gotcha. But like finger strength, everything good. is good, you think? Yes. Okay, all right, appreciate your help. Have a good one, cheers. All right, it's day number four. This hand grip machine is effective in theory, but in reality, it's not really putting a ton of strain on my fingers right now. Quite frankly, it's a bit flimsy for my taste. I'll have it tightly secured to my wrist, stretching these fingers to my heart's content, and then shaboom, out of nowhere, the Velcro wrist strap goes undone. And then this machine's flying off my hand while I'm trying to get juicy on the go. Made in China garbage. Yo, man, five days in with this sucker right here, just doesn't feel like it 
enough resistance. Look at that, it's too easy, I suppose. So as you can see, there's another notch here. If I lower it right here, boom, one notch lowered, boom, another notch lowered, lowered. We are on the maximum level of resistance here for the fingers. Now it's a little bit more difficult, I gotta say. I'm gonna give this level of resistance a chance, but right now, this is just embarrassing, to be honest. We'll let the process do its thing, and hopefully I'm shaking hands like Arnold Schwarzenegger at the end of this. I don't know, though. 25 more days to go. All right, it's day number eight of me cranking away on this wrist machine here. I'm currently in a toilet in London right now as we speak, stretching away with the finger machine. Pretty relaxing environment to do so, I gotta say. You sure? And the fact that I can crank away while I'm in the toilet stall gives you some perspective as to the flexibility of this machine. 22 more days to go. And unsurprisingly, my perpetual pursuit for gains took me across the seven shining seas. It's day number 12. I'm looking like Violet Evergarden with these hands right here. I am in Chernobyl, Ukraine. Notice the tasteful decorations, beautiful. In fact, I'm in the nuclear exclusion zone right now. This is where the nuclear power reactor went kaboom. I'm a little frightened at the moment, but not frightened enough to not get these gains. Pray to God I don't die. Recently, a lot of people have been asking me, you know, Tyler, you've been on this hand exerciser machine for 15 whole days and Tyler, where are the gains? Everyone cares about the gains. But they fail to consider that gains may perhaps be a scarce resource available to the select few, the alphas of our society perhaps, right? You ever consider things like water, happiness, gains are scarce things that people may perceive to be essential. You think everyone can get gains? You think everyone can be happy? Certain things are simply not possible given a certain environment. For instance, you want gains? Stop eating junior mints. That goes for Swedish fish too. It goes for nerds. Nutella too, you bastard. That's right, you slob. It applies to Pop-Tarts as well. Lifestyle, bodily care, and then the meat and potatoes. The exercise, folks. It's a multifaceted, mul- Are you fucking kidding me? It's a multifaceted, multivariable game we're playing here, and it's not as simple as you might've thought. Maybe I'm being melodramatic. Here's what the grinders might say. Grind every day and results will show. And why don't McDonald's workers become billionaires? I'll tell you why. Value added to society is insufficient, replaceable, and simply valued significantly less than my boy Bill Gates. This is real life economics at play. That makes sense. Uh, so the moral of the story is 15 more days to go and I should have one of the strongest handshakes that a Nordic Viking would tremble before my very presence. You call that drama? I call that real life. It's day number 16 and I've maxed out the stretch capacity of these little finger resistance pockets right here. So they used to be on the second notch right around here. And I said, hell no. So I stretched them out just a tad bit more and here we are at ring level three ultimate resistance. Only the fingers of true alpha male chads can complete this task. Sorry champs, it's an exclusive status. Yo, 20 days in with this little gizmo on my palm. I've been starting to question lately why exactly this product exists. Uh, like, where are the people out there who are trying to get firm handshakes? You know, with the exception of the few token chumps out there who are trying to get that sturdy handshake of a Chad. Okay, so I just searched how to be an alpha male. Nothing in there really talked about uh, strong handshake, but I think that's just one of those unspoken secrets. The upper, upper percentile of alphas just don't want those new betas to hear. So yeah, I was just thinking this thing is just kind of stupid by nature. I'm basically just moving my fingers up and down. So best case, this joint, uh, these tendons are more uh, pow powerful. <laughs> Me, I don't know. Yeah, this is kind of just one of those things I feel like I would make fun of in the real world. But when I saw it, I was like, this should be a YouTube video. I definitely feel like the strength of the muscles in this hand have gotten a little more kaboom. Like, how do you measure finger gains? I, I don't know. Day number 23, getting hand gains while drones are assaulting me. <laughs> Day number 24, in the grandiose, spectacular, extravagant, mini warehouse office space, sweatshop editing. Josh, how do you like the space? <laughs> <laughs> so you like the office? That's cool. <laughs> it's day number 25 and I'm so confident that my handshake has 10x in terms of strength, overall respectability in the last 20 days that I'm wearing a v-neck in public. I'm gonna shake some chumps hands real quick and see what they think. All right, what's your assessment? First thought. It's like a seven, eight. What's going on? It's good to meet you. Huh? You like, you like <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good, That's well, what is that right there? That's like a nine. A nine. Okay. How about you? 
What's going on, man? Pleasure to meet you. Seven. All right, what's up, guys? I need the honest review of the handshake. Let's see it. One to seven. All right. Uh, Houston, what the f was that? My, my bad. All right, what are we at? One out. Two firm? Yes. Okay, my bad. The other guy said I was too soft, so he's been calibrating my handshake off. Too strong. Yeah. Okay. Good to meet you. That's a little more calibrated. One through ten. What is it? Eight. What do I need to work on though? Not doing that. That's too strong. Yeah. I've gotten too yoked. Why is your hand like that? What's wrong with the hand? Oh, 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 are you gonna edit that? What do you mean? Not at all, no. Why are you doing that? I'm trying to get yoked. I'm thinking perverted now. No, 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 no. You <laughs> too. Cheers. Bye. See ya. I got some advice for these people. They suck at shaking hands. I'm gonna be frank. Those were some of the weakest hands I've ever shook. So without a doubt, it's 100% working. Ugh. It's been 30 days of me extending my fingers from this strange apparatus. But real quick, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Now, have you ever wanted to build a website, but you just couldn't figure out how to do it? Well, no worries, folks. Squarespace's website development tools are so easy that even a blindfolded baby could make a website in under 10 minutes. With 24-7, 365 days a year support, Squarespace has got your back always and you can really make a website for whatever you need if you're a musician designer swole boy restaurateur youtuber we got you so go start your squarespace free trial today at squarespace.com slash tyler Oliveira and use code tyler Oliveira at checkout to get 10 percent off your first purchase just click the link in the description and use code tyler Oliveira at checkout back to the video anyways before we get into the nitty-gritty of this i have one confession to make I'm bald. Now, this may not have been what you were expecting. I'll bet you thought I was gonna reveal a hot new girlfriend, but no. I just went to the barber shop and he shaved my head absolutely bald. And then he even had the audacity to put aftershave on my head and it was this weird tingly burning sensation and I can't say it felt all that bad. But anyways, all will be explained. Just make sure to subscribe to the channel and in the next four weeks or so, you'll understand why I'm bald. But anyway, this device is unusual. I thought it was gonna strengthen my grip, but honestly, Honestly, I think it was more so a little bit of a forearm exercise than anything. I didn't really think about it in this way until I studied the anatomy of this little device and that these were essentially little tendons. The overall grip has probably increased, but it's one of those things where it's not really enough to compel me to think anything actually happened. I wouldn't even bother to show you a before and after picture of the hands because there's no actual way in hell that the width of my fingers actually increased. Every device I've used for 30 days has shown some form of result in my opinion. If we did some sort of 3D x-ray scan, I might see some sort of crazy exponential increase in muscle mass, but perhaps I'm just blind. While those results weren't all that impressive, what if I wore a forearm strengthener for 30 days straight? 